Hello, Penny here. Today on my garden podcast, I'm going to go for the one I can't pronounce. They just look nice. Oh, right. Now I'm really fit, honestly. Do you know what? I've not even had a coffee yet. That's the power of the day, isn't it? Oh. I recently heard that sighing's good for you, so I'm going to do a bit more of it on the podcast, I think. Nothing's wrong. It's just good for you. Breath in. Through the nose, by the way. And then, uh, oh, sigh it out. I heard that on a meditation podcast. I thought, mm, I quite enjoy that. But do people do look worried when you sigh. You all right? Everything okay? Yeah, just getting rid of like, you know, like mental toxins, yeah. Anyway, uh, we're here very early for me. 9am. I'm up and at them. It is the morning. You know, the morning of the year where you just go, mmm, summer's on its way. It's really still, it's blue sky, it's hot sunshine. You can hear the birds are tweeting, we are in the garden. And um, I've got mixed emotions, I have to say. Gardening is a lot about mixed emotions, I think. First of all, I am unsure, unsure whether I should be in the garden with my new pink gardening gloves and spade in hand, because I should be going away for the, for the night. But I couldn't resist. I was actually dreaming about planting out my new dahlias and so when the day presented itself in the way that it has I thought I've got to get them in the ground I can't leave those chicks in the um in the greenhouse another night so here we are and the reason for going away tonight is it's our 10th wedding anniversary I know 10 years a husband 10 years a spouse and uh so a spa night is calling in the Lake District. We're going to be doing that. But I thought I could just quickly bob these in the ground. Now, let's get to the task in hand then quickly because, you know, I don't want to get... I don't want to delay the whole thing. And I've got pockets of um, Jasper Memorial bed, you know, where the cat where the cat lies in memoriam or whatever the word is. Uh, but there are loads of empty spaces. And last weekend, I... Uh, bought some dahlias and some thing that I can't pronounce we'll get onto that and two really beautiful hot pink fuchsia geraniums and the the section that I'm just digging over now I'm putting some compost in compost from the compost heat the tea bags and eggshell concoction that seems to be very successful is a another mixed emotion situation because it was where I'd put my reliable canner tubers and it hadn't worked. Oh, I know, they didn't do anything. In fact, I've taken them out and I'll find them now. The tubers are just rotten. Now, I don't know why that is. Maybe I was a bit too early to the party. Um, I separated them. It was one big, huge thing and I separated them to three, which I thought was quite a reasonable thing to do and put them in the ground I even used my stone system where I put a stone next to something that needs digging up again or is a permanent fixture of this plot this uh, bed that's what it's called isn't it uh, but the tube and the tube the little canners were looking promising they were sticking their little heads out and then nothing all three of them just gone so I don't know whether that was a me thing a frost thing, a too much water soggy thing, or just one of those blooming things, you know? And you know what? We'll never know. And with gardening, it's a bit like that, isn't it? Sometimes you know, sometimes you don't know. But the point is, and I think this is a lesson, isn't it, that we learn from gardening, is to don't look back. It's not the way you're going. So just look forward. Look forward to what you're going to plant. Now, I'm going to bung some compost in. Now, this isn't very strategic. I'm just throwing it on the ground at the moment. That's silly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig up some holes with my trusty trowel and put... What am I going to put in? I'm going to go for the one I can't pronounce. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what they do. They just look nice. Anti-rhinum. I think we could go with that. Anturinium, anturinium, anturinium. 
let's see they're crimson so a nice bright color at the end of this bed i've got uh oh gosh i've got 10 plugs oh no and there's absolutely no instruction on them about how long they grow how tall they grow how far apart keep well watered fed yeah ideal for baskets beds borders and containers so anywhere basically prefers moist but well-drained soil ah here we go grows up to 35 centimeters tall 25 centimeters across space plants 20 centimeters apart okay in full sun right we're in the right place then this is fantastic so get some get 10 little holes for my plugs and do you know what i've not even had a coffee yet that's the power of the day isn't it the power of the day oh that's joey ah sounds like he's being sick uh joey no just one of those things good well he's in the right place isn't he if he is being sick <laughs> in the garden okay so i've gone for the idea really i'm going for the idea of wholesale compost in the ground so i'm going to put all 10 in the same place i like that it serves two purposes really um visually it's very pleasing it just the block of color is a bit more impactful than lots of it spread around the border because it's a big border i suppose it's long and it really helps me remember what it is and what i'm supposed to do with it now with this particular plant i don't know whether it comes back next year so i'm just gonna put this homemade compost into the ground dig it in it's a bit compacted in the bag say in the bag the hunky husband saves compost bags and puts our own compost in it when it isn't that clever i wouldn't have thought to do that that's why i've got him on the team really for inspiration like that and you know i think it's an opportunity isn't it to to sing one spouse's praises at wedding anniversary time I don't do Facebook anymore, but um, if I was on Facebook, I'd say, darling husband, it's been an amazing 10 years. Thank you so much for marrying me. You're a real asset to the team. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, yeah. There's been a lot of change. As in, the change. <laughs> so thanks for bearing with, for doing all the podcast stuff. Out of our 10 years of marriage, we've been podcasting together for three years. I know you have been with us through the last three years of our marriage. So I'm now, sorry, I'm a little out of breath, spading through this compost, rather than doing it in little, you know, spoonfuls in each hole for this uh, plant, antirhinum. And what I am also enjoying about this compost aspect is that I don't think this soil up this end is particularly good anyway. So it's an opportunity, isn't it, to, to dig some through. And it's excellent stuff, I have to say. Oh, that's the other thing I'm going to say to the husband. Thank you for all the compost. Um, you know, that takes a bit of muscle making that happen sometimes when you have to turn, turn it and use it. So fantastic. Look at that, it looks lovely. I, I don't know why I'm saying look at that. You can't, can you? Do you remember on the radio when uh, in the 70s at all that DJs would say, oh, if this was television, it's like, well, it's not. And then if this was smelly vision, you'd be able to smell. It's like, well, it's not, is it? Why are you talking about it? Just describe it using the words. That's what radio presenters meant to do. Oh, right. Now I'm really fit, honestly. Right, okay, so I've now got it with in front of me 10 lovely little plugs. And they are little, actually. Oh, slug egg. Clear off. Oh. Oh, these plugs are going in beautifully now. Nice loamy soil. We know that word. And is that 20 centimetres apart? Yeah, that'll do. And I'm just using my hands, actually. A bit like Monty Don does on the telly. Just popping it in there. Although he doesn't have bright pink gloves. Or any gloves, frankly. I think his hands have become so leathery from all the gardening over the years that he doesn't feel the need for gloves whereas if i don't wear them and i touch compost i'm itchy all night are you is it a thing 
email. <laughs> Hello, I'm a bit famous. Yes, compost makes me itchy too, Pen. That's all you need to say. Right, so that's five in, five to go. It's a little one there. I don't hold that much hope for that one. There's a fly that's really attracted to my shin at the moment. I'm not happy about that. Now that needs a bit of compost. Now, oh, what am I doing? Right, okay, I'm nearly through. Hey, this lupin at the back's lovely. Yeah, you know, lupins are really bursting into their candlestick, tapered candlestick um, flowers, columns. Yeah, a bit prone to black fly a lupin, but there's nothing on this at the moment. Although a little bit eaten by caterpillar. Mm. Oh yes, the hungry caterpillar has been down the bottom. Now onto a slice of cream cake or whatever it was, but... Right, one more in the ground and then it's time to make a coffee and get on our merry way. See, it was only a two minute job, wasn't it? That's fine, great. Get on our way. Pretend to be glamorous around the spa section and have a good time. Right, good luck, Auntie Rhinum. If indeed that is how you say it. Thank you.